All right, what's up, y'all? So today we are getting back up from the porch. We are getting baby quail. Yep, baby quail. For the last video that y'all saw, I'm hoping y'all watched it, but I built a baby chicken coop. Well, we're actually getting six quail today. My dad's going to get them, and he's bringing them to me after work. Um, but I'm going to go in under the porch where I have the quail coop now, and I'm going to flip the camera around and show y'all. All right, so this table right here is also the left. So is this old dog tray. It was left, too. I don't know. They just left a good bit. But I put all that pine bedding all in there. All inside. All everywhere. Shut that. Um, you can't even use half the bag. So we got enough for to do it again. But turn this on. That light. I'm ready to get them. So, and we gotta go to Ace, so I'll see y'all once we go to Ace. Alright, so we're at Ace. We're gonna get 10 bags started away. Okay. And then Mason jar. Oh, we got two right here. Perfect. That Mason jar. This Mason jar. This feeder. This water. And those all to go together. And that's all about 20 bucks. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, so I'm gonna put food in here for the quail. They're on their way. Let's see. Just like that, and I'm gonna put the water like right there, so I'm gonna go get the water. All right, I'm gonna put five ice cubes in here just to keep it cold. But all I do is fill it up with the sink, and then you just put that lid on. And then all I do is make sure that's lined up, and I'm gonna turn the camera around. And I'm actually not gonna flip it until. Okay. I don't want to spill it. And that goes right there. So there we go. Okay. Let's just see. I've got all the water they're going to need. All the food they'll need for tonight. And places to sleep. So they're good. Now we've just got to wait until the quail get here. Alright y'all. So we got the quail in the box. And we're about to take them out. Hanging in the butt and feather. But I got all six. They're a little bigger than I thought, but it's okay. They can still fit back there, and if not, I can take this cage off them. Yeah, but so it was a little rough because they were in this little box and I had to get them out of. That one right there, his feathers are all puffed out because I put them in, but I got to screw this lamp down because they can hit it and bounce out and get out really easy. But I've got two males. Let's see. I think I know the difference. Okay. This guy right here is a male. See the white on his face? And then that right there is a female. And then that one right there is two males and one female right there. And then four females. So I got two males and four females. Okay. But that one right there is kind of messed up. He jumped out of the cage and like tried flying. But Buddy caught him in the air and put him on the ground. And starting to like try to chew him. But I got to him before he like did any harm to him. He just roughed up his feathers a little. He's all right then. He's just probably stressed, but they got their food, water, and now I've got six, eight week old quail. So they're eight weeks old. So, yeah. All right, so they're all settled in. Now I'm doing all right. And there's still one back there in the like, brooder box, whatever you're gonna call it. But 
Yeah, so I'll show y'all how they're doing like in the morning. All six quail are still here, so nothing got to them last night. And they all seem to be doing really good, so that's good. So it looks like they're doing pretty darn good. So yeah. Alright, so they're all doing good. Kind of woke up since I turned the light on. They ate a little bit. I watched them eat. They still got a good bit of water. And I'm about to go to school. So, but I hope y'all enjoyed seeing me get these quail and put them in their enclosure and kind of update y'all on them. And there will be more updates on them in uh, later videos. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.